Hi guys, and today I'm going to be dyeing my hair indigo. Originally it was supposed to be a lot lighter, more like a lavender-y type color, but I'll explain why it didn't end up that way toward the end. The first thing I always do when I'm going to do anything really with my hair is I wash it out, and right now I'm adding coconut oil to it to protect my hair from the bleach because I still have to bleach my roots. When I do this, usually I apply the coconut oil to especially my roots, but even to the ends of my hair to try and allow them to soak up some of those oils too, because when you're dyeing your hair, you're always going to be damaging it at least a little bit. And the coconut oil kind of helps prevent some of that damage. Not a lot, but at least a little. I also usually wait at least three or four days between washing my hair and when I actually dye my hair to try and keep it from causing any more damage. That way there's some natural oils in my hair as well. Usually I just work this in about until I get to the point that I look like I haven't showered in maybe three or four years. That's usually a good point to twist it up into a bun and let it soak a little bit. Oh look, coffee. That'll be important later. After you've let the coconut oil sit in your hair for a little bit, you'll start mixing your bleach. I'm using prism lights in the blue and a 20 proof developer. You can really use whatever proof developer and whatever bleach works best for your hair. I would definitely suggest checking up on that before you start. Make sure you're wearing gloves when you're doing bleach because it will burn your hands and that's not a fun time. Done it before. The amount of developer that you use really sort of depends on your hair type and your hair color since mine's naturally like a really dark, dirty blonde, maybe a really light brown. I try not to use a very high developer because my hair actually bleaches really easily. I always try and make sure that when I'm bleaching I do the top layer and then I fold it over and do underneath as well so that I'm getting all of the hair in between there. And I just work this into my roots all the way through my head. It can be a little bit of a challenge sometimes, especially because I go in between roots, in between dyes when I dye my roots. I'm also not dyeing the, or bleaching the rest of my hair because I have actually already bleached it the last time that I dyed it and I don't want to over bleach my hair. And also I want my roots to be lighter. Once you get that all the way through, you'll let it sit for a little bit. And then I like to go ahead and Add a little bit of shampoo to the rest of the bleach and add it to the rest of my hair after it's had some time to sit. Then all you need to do is apply a plastic bag to help hold in some heat and get to jamming to your favorite song. Okay, I jammed a little too hard. In retrospect, this is a little bit embarrassing. It was meant to be funny. I'm definitely not telling you guys what song this was. What is wrong with me? Totally leaving this in here though. I obviously didn't record me rinsing out my hair for obvious reasons, so, you know, since there's no shower curtain in my ginormous bathroom. After you rinse it out, your hair should look like really stringy cheese. If you've done it right and you put coconut oil ahead of time, it won't be too super dry. One of the hair rules is not to brush your hair wet. I'm pretty sure it's like the epitome of broken rules. To brush it wet after bleaching. Oh well. I have really curly hair, so I'm gonna brush my hair when it's wet. I then wait until my hair dries before I apply the actual color because it's better for it to be dry plus it's easier to see what parts you've already gotten on there and what parts you haven't 
For color, I'm using Beyond the Zone Rock On in Evening Indigo. I really like this because it's an actually permanent dye. The last time I used it, it lasted me literally four months. And I'm just mixing it with a little bit of developer and a lot of conditioner. This stuff is actually permanent, guys, and it's really, really dark. So if you want your hair to be a lighter color than mine ended up being, I suggest using hardly any of the dye and a whole lot of conditioner. Like, a whole lot more than you would use for Manic Panic. This stuff works really well. Actually, it will dye your hair even if your hair is not bleached. But I like the crisper, cleaner color that it gets when my hair is bleached, so... I like to start at the bottom when I'm actually applying the color because it's easier to see the bottom if I've got everything else pulled back. And I just do it layer by layer all the way up to the top of my head. Make sure you're getting it in the roots and underneath so that you don't have any random spots of ugly cheese blonde. I feel like there's a billion and a half of these videos where people are doing voiceovers of themselves doing their hair. So I'm not really sure why you're watching this, but thanks. Also this stuff really, really stains your face and purple kind of looks like hickeys if you get it on your neck. So make sure that if you get it on your neck, you wash it off really fast. Warm water and a wash rag usually works pretty well. For me, anyway. All of the supplies and all of the products you can get at Sally's. If you don't have a local Sally's, I think you can order them online too. Just look up Beyond the Zone. I might put a link below. I do not have a promo code. I wish. Make sure that when you're doing this, you're following all of the instructions on the box. If it tells you to leave it in for 20 minutes, leave it in for 20 minutes. This stuff is like regular box dye. It's not like your Manic Panic, your Grape Kool-Aid type stuff. When you apply that stuff, you can leave it on for up to two hours and it does not damage your hair any further. This stuff will. This is like dyeing your hair with brown hair dye. I promise. You will actually damage your hair. So. Make sure that if it's only 20 minutes with the developer you're using, or if it's 40 minutes, or however long the box says to do it for your hair, that you're doing it. At this point, I actually ran out and had to mix a little bit of bit more to put in my hair so that I could finish doing my hair. Try and make sure that you have enough. Honestly, this was a pain. And there we go again. One step that I didn't actually include in here was where I actually cut my hair. So if there's a giant urge for people to see me cutting my hair, I'll make a video of that too. Oh look! Coffee grounds! I told you that that coffee would be important later. Sometimes when I dye my hair, I like to do a face mask too. This particular one has coffee grounds, coconut oil, an egg white, some cinnamon, and some honey. All of which are supposedly really good for your face. Also you can just wash it out in the shower. And there you have it, my indigo hair. Obviously, I look a hell of a lot better 
in this video than the last. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And maybe suggest what color I should do my hair next, because I have absolutely no clue. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. Click that little icon so that you know when I post my videos. And thank you guys for watching.